Welcome to Ant TV. I'm Sofia Wu. And I'm Avery Montez. The Hispanic Heritage Month celebration presented by the Spanish Honor Society will be in the auditorium from 2.50 until 3.35. Tickets will be sold during lunch for $3. The final Saturday School Opportunity will be October 23rd. This is the last opportunity for attendance recovery for the last spring semester. As before, these are only for students who passed the class but lost credit because of attendance. If you have questions about credits, you need to speak to your counselor. If you have questions about attendance recovery, you can email lindajoe.jackson at fwisd.org. Choir and Cam have a big concert coming up next week. Take a look. You cannot say, I mean, you cannot say that I hopped on this beat and I missed. That's money. Wait to say that I made it. Wait to say that I made it. Okay. Okay. Nah, you cannot say, I mean, you cannot say that I hopped on this beat and I missed. Okay. Can't wait to say that I made it. Can't wait to say that I made it. I'm a boss, I'm a natural born hustler, and I'm a human, so I, so I don't really talk about my feelings no more, I'ma get that bad, I'ma hit the door, I'm about to take off in the booth, huh? what you wanna do, look, when you reason, I'm a king, yeah, I'm a fool up in the stoop, you know I'm going dumb, you know I'm going stupid, I'm stupid. I done fell in love with this microphone like my first name was Cuba, you cannot say, I mean, you cannot say that I hopped on this beat and I missed, can't wait to say that I made it, can't wait to say that I made it, Okay, now you cannot say, I mean, you cannot say that I hop on this beat and I miss it. Can't wait to say that I made it. Can't wait to say that I made it. Yeah. Yearbooks are now on sale at www.yearbookforever.com. Yearbooks are $70 until the end of winter break. Senior ads are also on sale. See Ms. McCready in 1307 with questions. And it's time for seniors to reach out to Glamourcraft for schedule their appointment. Go online to www.glamourcraft.com slash seniors. You need to make your appointment at the time we return from winter break. Makeup picture day will be the morning of October 25th. If you are a staff member, freshman, sophomore, or junior and did not take your photo with Glamourcraft, you will be called to the auditorium. Drama Club is hosting a character run. Join us on October 23rd at 9 a.m. in the Fine Arts Field. Come in costume as we walk to represent our Southwest Drama Club. Your costume can be as small as a goofy headband or as big as dressing up as your favorite character. We can't wait to see you there. WizQuiz will continue to have regular practices Thursday after school, but practice has been moved to Coach Holcomb's room. That's room 1614. Please see him for more info. It was a huge win for the football team last weekend. We have all the details in Raider Recap. Coming up on Amp TV's Raider Recap, we have the highlights of last game. Plus the players of the week. All this and more, Amp TV's Raider Recap starts now. Welcome to Raider Recap. I'm Christian Reyes. And I'm Andrew Bustos. Let's get right into the highlights of the game. Here we have the Raiders on defense. Uh, South Hills quarterback throws an interception to Zion Sullivan, and he takes it all the way back for a pick six. There we go, Zion. On another highlight for the defense, South Hills quarterback gets pressured, throws it up, and it's a pick by Martavius Boswell. What a pick. Here we have the Raiders on offense. Raylan steps back in the pocket, throws it deep for Devontae McDonald, who's on a post, and, McDon and McDonald gets it all the way for a touchdown. On this highlight, the defensive line feasts, and Timothy Jackson gets a tackle for a loss. Way to go, Timothy. Here we have Levante, Mc Levante Marshall at quarterback, uh, Wildcat formation, takes a snap. Quarterback draw, runs it up the middle, cuts outside, and that's a play for about 20 yards. And now we're here with the players of the week. For this week, we have Joshua Jimenez, Heslip Kane, Raylan Carter, Andrew Pena, and Isaac Cara. For Raylan and Andrew, how does it feel being a freshman on varsity? Uh, I feel accomplished. I feel like I've really progressed since my eighth grade year of football. I feel like I've progressed as well, you know, as a player and as a person as well to be at a higher level and play with boys that's older than me. So it's a chink come true for both of us, me and Andrew. 
All right, for Isaac, Joshua, and Hesla, how does it feel? How do you think y'all's JV season has been going? Um, yeah, I think we've been doing pretty good as a JV team. Play hard at the games, and whatever the outcome, we go back to practice, get better, so we can win more games. Um, I feel like our JV season is good right now. We just need to work on defense and uh, try to get in the end zone more. I feel like we've been progressing since seventh grade with Coach Franklin helping us out through all the years, all the way up to ninth grade. He's been helping us all out and keeping us on track with grades and everything. And I feel like we've been doing so well. Thank all of y'all for answering our questions and being on our show. Our next game, the Raiders will face off against the Chaparrals. The game will be at Clark Stadium at 7 p.m. Come out and support the Raiders. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and all of our social medias. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow Southwest Forward ISD on social media. And subscribe to Amp Southwest on YouTube. Thanks for watching.